Welcome to Goaltending Unlocked. I'm Casimir Gaskisov from the Nashville Predators Organization, and in this video, I'm going to help you make more breakaway saves. Even though you might only see one or two breakaways in a game, uh, breakaways are a pivotal part of the game. And if you're able to make those saves, uh, your team gets a huge confidence boost and energy boost. And also, obviously, that's a big opportunity for the other team to score. So if they're able to put a couple goals in the breakaways, that's going to put you behind the eight ball real quick. But if you make those saves, uh, that's a really game changing situation and able to uh, give your team the advantage. I have six points I'm going to show you, the details that I focus on when facing a breakaway. And usually if I do with all those six things right, I'm usually making the save. First one is heels and toes. Uh, good guideline for uh, timing your speed and your momentum the right way is to be heels on the top of the crease when the player is on the top hash mark. And when the player hits the bottom hash mark, your toes would be on the top of the crease. This way, you should be carrying the right amount of speed going back and uh, timing it right with the shooter, giving you enough momentum and being close enough to the shooter so he doesn't have too much net to shoot at, but you're still able to react and stretch it out if needed. A couple points about coming out before the player gets to the top of the circles is that you need the momentum to get back and to uh, match the speed with the shooter. So ideally you wanna get a couple feet out on the top of your crease um, but if you get too far out if the player moves a lot laterally you might lose your net very easy so I would just try to find the sweet spot a couple feet out and then time it with the with the shooter with the heels and toes second one is stance and active hands so you want to be in a low aggressive position where you still can react to the shot and explode laterally and keeping your hands forward and active is going to help you all out with taking a net away and in this clip you see the players trying to shoot top shelf but my hands are active out front uh, and it takes the whole top shelf away without even having to react third one is hold your edges and a lot of this has to do with patience uh, obviously in breakaways and shootouts the players are trying to kind of try to deke you out a little bit so as long as you're being patient holding your edges and moving on your feet that will help you to uh get to the right spots when the player is actually making making the move and shooting. And in this clip, you can see that the player is making moves right in front of me, but I'm holding my edges. And when he's shooting, I'm able to just drop down and shot the five hole. Number four kind of goes with uh, holding your edges and being in that aggressive stance. Stay low and trying to read the release if the player is trying to shoot five hole. Uh, and then if he does, make sure you're ready to drop down and take that away. Uh, recently, I've definitely noticed that there's a trend that guys are trying to um, shoot a quick release and try to beat goalies five hole. So definitely something to uh, keep an eye on and work on and make sure that you're always ready to seal the five hole. Number five is battle. And obviously things happen fast. The guys are really good with their stick handling right now and deking. And not every save on the penalty shot or breakaway is going to be perfect. So you, sometimes you just have to get as much gear in front of the shot as you can and pretty much get there the, as, as best as you can, Hashik style if needed. And the last point I have is just allow yourself to react. It's you against the player and uh, everything happens really fast. So as long as you're in it, you're not thinking too much about the previous five steps. Uh, you just allow yourself to react if the player shoots trying to your first instinct on then that release or so sometimes it's easy to just drop down and you see there's a shot coming from close by but if you just allow yourself to react and read what the player is doing uh, usually your first instinct is the right one so uh, if it's a big windmill or toe up save whatever it is then uh, just just do it so just like on the RVH episode, uh, these are kind of just points that work for me and what I keep in mind. I know for someone else in breakaways, they might want to come a mile away and then match back with the skater or they want to stay in their blue and make saves from there. So 
if you're struggling with breakaways, you might want to try these six parts out. There's so many different ways to play goalie and uh, there's just as many styles as there's goalies playing. So just be you and if you need any pointers, hopefully these six, six points help you out and you can take something away from it and that way make that big save uh, when your team really needs it on the breakaway. So drop in the comments uh, what part of goaltending you want me to go through next. I know so far we've gone through RVH and uh, now the breakaways and I have some ideas of uh, kind of what I want to do. So, but if you have any suggestions, just drop them on below. Um, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you soon for uh, another episode of Goaltending Unlocked.